הגליק, נר של חנוכה, נר It's Hanukkah week and we're celebrating being Jews in Israel, a place where every generation wants to kick us out of. Just like the story of Hanukkah, we're here and we're here to stay and we're celebrating. We're going around Israel on our holiday. The beach, seeing family, doing different things, and enjoying ourselves. So happy Hanukkah, everybody! Hi amazing people, how are you doing? My name is Leia. I'm a Jewish Orthodox artist, or whatever labels you want to call me, living in Israel. <laughs> I want to thank you all for being so kind and supportive and awesome during these days. Israel is going through a hard time and our hearts can be crushed every second. But we have to focus on what we have and what we have. We're celebrating Hanukkah this week. We're all fighting this war differently. If we're not on the front lines fighting, we're spiritually giving them hope and support by praying, by doing good things. So in this Hanukkah, I tried to focus on celebrating life and praying for our soldiers, for our hostages, for everything. Trying to bring more light into the darkness because Hanukkah is all about our enemies trying to destroy the Jewish people, which happens every single generation. But guess what? We're here. We're here in Israel. We have an army to protect ourselves. We have God protecting ourselves first and foremost, and we have the unity of the Jewish people. So this is what Hanukkah is all about, and we're reliving it right now. So let's have fun. And there's a lot we did this Hanukkah week. So check out what us as Orthodox Jews do the week of Hanukkah. Okay, welcome to our Hanukkah ceremony of lighting the candles. First night of Hanukkah. First night of Hanukkah. So we have two candles to light tonight. The first one we lit is called the Shamash. It is the assistant candle. That's the candle you can light from the candles of Hanukkah themselves. We're not supposed to use them besides light them and just enjoy their light. So we're not passing fire from one to the other. I'm about to make three blessings for the first night. Blessing God for giving us the mitzvah of lighting the Hanukkah candles and for the miracles and Sheikh Yanu because it's the first night. Yay! Here we go. Let me just find Hanukkah and the Siddur is usually towards the end. Hello. 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 Say happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Hello. Hag Sameach. There it is. There it is. Poem. Then there's Hanukkah here. We have Neosh Hanukkah. Let's see. Then we're going to be looking at the Shemukom Elion. Then we're going to be looking at the Shemukom Elion. Then we're going to be looking at אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר קידישנו במצוותיו. 
ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה. אמן! On Hanukkah, I'll let it light. On Hanukkah, we'll sing a song, and you may all sing along. in Israel, I started a new series on my art shop called Holy Landmarks, where I create different kinds of art and spots in Israel, and I put them on different items for you to enjoy, or give us gifts, or give us gifts to yourself. Today my art shop is 15% off, and I give 10% of all my sales to support and donate to Israel to help soldiers and family in need, so thank you so much. These donations have helped bring soldiers essential winter gear for fighting in the war and ensuring that they stay warm during these really cold winter nights in Israel and days. <laughs> So my art shop link is in the description and I want to express my gratitude to each and every one of you who bought something. I hope you enjoy and thank you for also donating to Israel during these tough times. There's a lot of components to Hanukkah. Hanukkah is a festival of lights that marks the beginning of our experience of a spiritual reality, this huge light that comes down the world that first happened thousands of years ago with a little bit of oil, with a little bit of candle, and this tiny little light can just kill darkness. So this is what we're focusing on this holiday, that all the evil, that everything bad happening in the world will just disappear because we're focusing on light and our eternal light of our soul that can just shine bright and our unity of the Jewish people and also the Maccabees represents unity among the Jewish people and they had great spiritual heights this is what we say in Judaism with one man with one heart this came together during Hanukkah because we came together to fight our enemies because sadly sometimes in life things need to wake us up I think Rav Cook says war comes to wake us up so sometimes when you have enemies from outside you can 
unify and I pray that Hamas and anything evil in the world will not unify our families and ourselves and the Jewish people that we and God and we could do it without any external force. Hello for Shabbat. Wow, Shabbat Hanukkah. Shabbat Shalom everybody. So we're here at the Tanya Beach, and this is an interesting historical uh, anecdote about Hanukkah. The, the Greeks, when they came to Israel, they wanted to take over this land just like any other land and turn it to another Hellenistic uh, country. And it didn't work for them because a group of Jews went against and... A group, a little family. A small family of Jews got together and said, no, we will not become like your nation. We're going to stay, continue to be Jewish. And the Greeks came through the ocean with boats three times, or four ta three or four times with giant armies to try to conquer the land of Israel, but they were not very accustomed to the way that, that the land is built, and when they came into the land there were mountains that the, that the Jews jumped on them uh, from when they were already tired from all the walking, and that's how we were conquered and won the, those wars. There's amazing stories, worthwhile looking them up in the... And we should know that even if it's we're a little bit by ourselves, we feel by ourselves, and the whole world is against, is against us. A little family made the whole Hanukkah miracle, right? It only it's takes also, a little a, bit of people. It's important to know that when God is on your side, wow. it doesn't matter what the circumstances, the external circumstances are. Uh, he's with you. You're in power. You will win. And we should just be connected to that notion of Emunah, that, uh, that Hashem is with us, always. What's Emunah? Emunah is belief. It's the belief in God Almighty that He can do Beyond anything! All the, the circumstances, miracles can happen when you pray and you believe that God is with you and you're doing the right thing. Happy Hanukkah! And may we see miracles in the whole world very soon, like 
today. Oh, my God.